Alright guys, here for part two. Uh, one thing I noticed is that the, um, here, the the torso and everything is, is um, quite bigger than it actually is here. So one thing we're going to do is select all of this, press SX to scale it on the X axis. And then, uh, yeah, that should do it. Just make it a little bit bigger than it actually is. So now let's get working on the legs here. So this is going to be easy, just add a middle vertex here and uh, the way to add just uh, snap it to the middle is to left click and once you're uh, in the sliding mode just right click and I'll snap to the center so now what we want to do is add two edge loops here and here so that we can uh, select the faces we need here like so so um, it's it's basically straight here so we want to start here and hold control and left click and drag it's right about there. Select all those uh, vert uh, vertices there. Now we're just going to get rid of these faces here. Oops. Um, you'll notice that you can't box uh, select and right click and drag anymore. It'll just uh, deselect the box select. But uh, all you have to do is middle uh, middle click and drag to deselect now. Uh, yeah, that looks good. So now what we're going to do is um, actually we need a. Looks like we would need one more here and get rid of this one. Yeah, it looks better. So now, we'll, we'll, actually, we'll just keep this one too. Sorry about that. Uh, another thing you can do is press um, C, hold Alt and left click, or C and middle click, whatever you want, to for the circle select. Make sure, make sure we have everything. Okay, we're just gonna extrude on the Z axis here, down, and then once we get a little bit down to right about there, we'll press S Z zero and that'll just flatten it out like so okay now we're just gonna make it we're gonna make it and have kind of stubby legs like in the in the in the art right here or the picture and one more time here and this will be the extrusion for the feet actually a little bit longer okay now his feet aren't very long so we're just gonna do it to right about there I think Okay, now we just need to add some more loop cuts. So, um, one thing we can do is we can just delete this whole left side here. Oops, I wanted to delete the faces. And then add a, let's get rid of the subsurf really quick. Add a mirror clipping. And then add another subsurf. Then we can just close the mirror and the subsurf. We actually probably need the mirror, uh, though. So, anyway. So control R, add a loop, control R, add a loop, and add another loop. Let's go ahead and add a loop here to sharpen this up too. Uh, one thing you want to do, select everything. Yeah, see it's not uh, clipped yet, so we need to just press G, X, hold shift, and move it in. And shift just allows you to make um, more exact movements. And then we need to add a loop right here, and that should do it. Yeah, there we go for the legs. We should probably um, press S, X, too, as well. And then press G, X. Just to make sure it's even. Add one more loop here just to be sure. Uh, delete that edge loop there. Yeah. Okay. So, um. <laughs> Just to make this look a little bit more like a chest, like it'd be a torso, let's just go ahead and select these top uh, vertices here and just scale them in some, just a little bit, just to give that kind of rectangular shape there a little bit more. It kind of seems on oblong at the moment, so let's go ahead and just add uh, a mirror modifier as well, just to make sure that everything is centered. Oops, delete faces. Add a mirror. It's gonna bring the mirror up to the first one. Do clipping, and again G, X. Oops, X. Okay, and we're just gonna bring it in there till it snaps, just to make sure everything's even like that. Uh, yeah. So, make sure. Okay. 
Let's go ahead and start on the arms here. I don't know if we can get them the modeling done on this part, but we can definitely get it started. So we're going to add a cube here. Immediately press tab to get in the edit mode and move it over to the side and add a mirror modifier. Now what we need to do is scale this down here. And one thing you want to do is you'll notice if we do rapid scaling, you can uh, see the editing cage and it looks kind of weird. It's kind of distracting. So if you just press the mirror editing cage button here, uh, you don't get that problem anymore. So we're just going to scale it down to right about there. Go into side view, place it to where it would be. Let's do it like that. Okay, we need to scale on the, S, on the X axis there. So it kind of goes a little bit back and then uh, kind of like a 45 degree angle. So we're just going to, oops, press extrude. So what we want to do, select all. I'm going to rotate here a little bit. That's probably too much though. Yeah, we're just actually going to have it go like this. Just so it doesn't look too weird or anything. So we're just going to extrude it here. Rotate it like so. Actually, we want it to be straight. And then we're going to go ahead and, whoops, wrong button. Rotate it like this. So we can get that crease that's there too. And then proceed to extrude. So right about, oops, right about there. Okay. So let's go ahead and add a subsurf. Shade smooth here. And you can get that just by pre pressing W for the specials tab. Uh, let's go ahead and move these out on the X. Like so. Let's go ahead and ro rotate them. Okay. We need to make this uh, sharper. So what I want to do is go into vertex select mode. Select this. Press Control E edge slide. Move it over, and then just add another loop here to bring out that sharper crease. Maybe one here too. Yeah, that looks about right. Now what we want to do here is select this here. And we'll press E to extrude and scale it in about there. Now we want to add a loop cut here. Whoops, wrong place. X edge loop. Bring it there. And then bring it uh, here as well. And just take this face here. Just do a basic extrusion about there. And again, add a loop. Okay. There we have his arms. Now we're just going to go ahead and add his claw hand things there. These are really easy. Sorry about my voice. Ugh. I've been talking a lot. So what you want to do is add a torus. Just tap to go into edit mode. Again, move it over. Mirror. Now we're going going to go uh, going to go into. A, oh, actually, I got mixed up there for a second. Sorry. You want to add a circle. Change the vertices to 16 because we don't need 32. Make sure you're in vertex select mode, otherwise you can't select the points. Move it over and now add a mirror. Sorry, I got uh, mixed up with something I was previously doing. But uh, what you want to do is go into the top view here. Delete these bottom, one, two, three, four, five. Well, just the bottom vertices so we can get this here. And now what you want to do is press E to extrude on the Z. And then after it's select all, E to extrude, press S and then shift Z to exclude the Z axis from the scale, press G Y, bring it so down so it's even. Now we'll just uh, scale on the Y axis like this. Scale them down. Okay, and another thing we need to do is uh, we need to kind of curl these in a little bit. Uh, we already s rotated them. Uh, Yeah, okay, just make it somewhat top view. Oops, we need to kind of curl them in a little bit. Just like that. Okay. Subsurf. Don't want to go over the time limit here. So I'll just make sure really quick. 
you have to just hurry up. Now select everything here. Control N to recalculate the normals. Uh, add some loop cuts here. Uh, at the top as well. And then you want to add some here to make this sharp too. Okay, so that's good for this part. And in the next part, we'll just tweak some things here and there, and then we'll go ahead and texture it. All right, guys. Thanks. Bye.